Hello there, this video is about basic uh, teleop. So first what we're going to do is we are going to uh, we're going to create our motors which, so basically a public DC motor and then for a front left motor we can do FL and then back left uh, front right and back right and then we are also going to create two uh, public doubles here and then forward which is basically your movement backward and forwards and turn which is turning in place and then we're gonna initialize our motors onto the hardware map so L equal equal hardware map dot get DC motor dot class and then just create that for the other four uh three motors And then we're going to set the right side motors, or the left side motors, to reverse. So, fell dot set direction, dc motor dot direction dot reverse. And then also set the back left motor to reverse. And then we're going to do wait for start to initialize since we're using linear op mode. And then while op mode is active, which basically means this is going to loop forever until you disable op mode, which is basically when you press the stop button. So we're going to set our forward double uh, to the left, the joystick's left. Uh, stick, uh, the gamepad's left joystick and the Y value, so negative game pad one dot left stick Y. And then I'm gonna set the turn to the gamepad one's uh, right joystick X direction, so turn go game. And then we're going to do if the forward value is not equal to a zero, which means if the forward, if the joystick is not in the center position, then it's going to move the robot forward. So we're going to set fl.setPower forward, and we're going to do that for the rest of the four motors. That's where our reverse comes in, because if we didn't have the two left side motors reversed then the wheels then this would make this turning but since we do have the reverse that means the wheels will not be turning in the opposite direction they will be turning in the same direction which means they will all go forward or backwards and then we're gonna have an else if uh the turn is not equal to zero that means we're gonna set it like this and then change all the forwards to turn and then here since we don't want all the we want one side to be going forward and then one side to go be going backwards then we're gonna uh, make the two motors that are going the two left side motors on negative turn which is gonna basically make them go in reverse which means the robot will turn and then if none of the joysticks are moved forwards, then we just set all the motor powers to zero. And there we have it. This is a very simple um, drivetrain code, which you can definitely use for any drivetrain that you have. Uh, thanks for listening.